Our next animal here, right yeah, on the I'll desk. Do you want to stick that over there? Okay. Do I sit? So will, this is. Will it take my face off. What do I do? No, you can actually just. You don't want to get too close because again, this is a wild animal. Good to tell me now. Right. All so right. this is a serval, right? Okay. Beautiful, medium-sized cat. They are native to Africa. They're, be they're, they're not as big as sort of a lion or a leopard or a tiger, right? And so people think, wow, what a great idea. I'll be really awesome and really cool and impress my friends, and I'll go out and buy one of these things. These are wild animals. Yeah. These should never be pets. Yeah, but just think walking into the club with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is what Damn. people think, right? That is what people think. Let's see if we can, if we can get them to jump. Okay. Because this is a species that lives in, in tall grasses in Africa. Those really long legs and long neck allow it to see over the grass. And these guys can actually jump 10 feet in the air and catch birds in mid-flight. I've also heard with those ears, it can get direct TV pretty much at any time. Right. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Yeah, the ears, are, you know, the ears obviously help them hone in on prey. And I don't know if you can see behind, but they've got these, um, these light patches on them that actually kind of look like eyes from behind. So in, in, in the wild, it's a cat-eat-cat -cat world. So if a leopard or a lion found a serval like this, right. it would kill it. And their natural prey is a feather on a stick? Is yes, that the idea? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's a bird, so let's see, come on. Yeah, he's, now again, I'm playing with a cat toy. Can I try? I yeah, don't think you can, you're doing a good job. You can give it a try. Just, a little more. There we go. There you go, now we're talking. You gotta. <laughs> Just be, don't put it in front of you, because he might. Oh, I know himself. what I'm doing. <laughs> Later at the hospital. Right. <laughs> oh, look, it's like me when it hears laughs, it goes, huh? <laughs> Okay. So, so, but you know, we're playing with a cat toy. He's on a leash. Again, that's not because he's a pet. That's for everybody's safety here. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. All right. So, we should, uh, we should probably move on to the yeah. next animal. Uh, this is a serval. Don't get it as a pet unless right. you're also getting a grizzly bear. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, the two even, do the two even each other out? <laughs> you got both. One keeps the other in check. Yeah. I, yeah. We'll, I'm glad we'll, you just we'll said that. that. How yeah. irresponsible. All right. So, oh, our last boy. animal. Andy, why don't you get in the middle here? Oh, that's This right. is one of my favorite animals. Something bad. This, this is Pugsley, the Burmese python, okay? Pugsley is a great example of an animal that you actually can go out and buy as a pet. Now, when I tell you that Why Pugsley, would someone have this as a pet? Well, for the same reason that they would want to get a bear or a serval, they think it makes them look cool. And right. I'm here to tell you, it, it, that, that's not true. It actually makes you kind of ignorant because if you can't care for an animal that gets this big and eats live or you know full-size chickens, full-size rabbits, this thing could eat a bank safe. I mean, this, <laughs> right? it's, yeah. it's he's, unbelievable. He this... weighs he weighs 100 pounds and he's not even full grown. This is a species of snake that can get to be almost 20 feet in length. He's about 14 feet. Okay, how does this uh, creature? Is it is it a uh, can it kill a man? It, it could absolutely kill a man. Now, fortunately, you know, these big snakes, even in the wild, are not a threat to people, but this is a species that people got as pets, then released them down in the Florida Everglades, and guess what happened? They started breeding out of control, and they're actually now... Now they're voting. That's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> he, he does look like... That explains a lot in Florida right now. Right, so I mean, these guys are eating even um, animals as big as alligators. They could be a threat to the endangered Florida panther. These guys could eat a Florida panther cub. So, uh, you know, again, this is an animal that you can buy small in the pet store, and then it gets big if you actually are able to keep it alive. And then what happens is that a lot of people release them yeah. into the wild, and they become really bad invasive exotic species. There he goes. Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> he's back there. Nope, between my legs. He's now up in my... Yeah. He's wrapping around. He's crushing me. <laughs> you look at him, he's laughing at you. That's right, yeah. <laughs> That's actually how he would kill his prey. They're That's how he kills his prey? They're constrictors. What a way to go. Yeah.